Putin pushes British boundaries as warships arrive in English Channel amid global tensions. British naval ships will follow President Vladimir Putin's warships out of the English Channel tonight after they entered waters this morning. HMS Sutherland to escort two Russian warships through Channel. Two huge ships sailed into the North Sea towards Dover, sparking a quick response from the Royal Navy. Frigate HMS Sutherland spotted Moscow sanctioned sailors in the early hours before alerting the Ministry of Defense. State-of-the-art radar equipment will be used to track the, their every movement on Saturday night. The ships Subrazit Lini, I can't pronounce that, and Boyki have been made to turn away, but it is not clear where they are headed. Putin's warships sail off the UK coast. British Navy scrambled to escort them out. Defense Secretary Sir Michael Fallon said HMS Sutherland is carefully marking these Russian ships as they pass close to UK waters. The Royal Navy re uh, maintains a vigilant watch and is always ready to keep Britain safe. Commander Andrew Canal, the commanding officer of HMS Sutherland said, quote, as one of the Royal Navy's high readiness units, HMS Sutherland's is required to escort warships that approach the UK and this task is considered routine business for us. It is ver vitally important the Royal Navy demonstrates its presence and commitment to the integrity of UK territorial waters as we work around the clock to secure the seas of our island nation. To take a look at this video over here of the ship. The ships were spotted after a top U.S. and NATO military officer warned the Navy of Russia is imposing itself upon the nations with frequency. Navy Admiral Michael Howard said, There is now more Russian naval activity in Europe than at any point in the Cold War. Ms. Howard, head of NATO's Allied Joint Force Command in Naples, warned a close eye must be kept on the country's maneuvers at sea. Let's take a listen to Tillerson here. Tillerson tells Putin U.S.-Russia relations are, quote, at a low point. The current state of U.S.-Russia relations. I express the view that the current state of U.S.-Russia relations is at a low point. There is a low level of trust between our two countries. The world's two foremost nuclear powers cannot have this kind of relationship. We further discussed approaches to improving our channels of communication. We had a lengthy exchange of views regarding the situation in Syria and shared perspectives on possible ways forward. Earlier today, Foreign Minister Lavrov and I had a lengthy conversation about issues that require immediate attention and issues that require longer term. It'll pop to commercials, that's why I stop it. Meet Putin's deadly National Guards. 
The unwanted advance into British water comes as three countries are warning they could be about to go to war. Donald Trump, U.S. President, said he will take on North Korea and leader Kim Jong-un if it continues to test nuclear missiles. Navy guns at the edge of HMS Sutherland as Russian ships escorted away. The country in response has celebrated the Day of the Sun while parading new ballistic missiles through the streets. Government officials said they will fight, quote, all-out war if need be. China has played the role of peacemaker but said war could be on the cards. Russian relations with Britain have been frosty in recent weeks after Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson canceled a trip to Moscow over Putin's support for Syria. This is escalating at a rapid pace. I don't know. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, uh, thank you so much for watching.